telling you guys right now there would not be any videos if I didn't come out here and film Colin working. Colin, did you film any of this? None of the fittings match. <laughs> Hey, we're Ashley and Colin, and this is our van. If you're new here, seven weeks ago, we decided to convert this old work van into our new weekend getaway while stuck at home during quarantine. We currently have a place to sleep, a shower, and part of our kitchen done. Keep watching and see what we get up to this week. So we're kind of having a little bit of a debate. We feel like this is too narrow right here. And we're trying to decide if we should shorten this cabinet, like depth wise, or take out this whole square for this cabinet to open up and have like a little landing. This square is the refrigerator. So essentially the refrigerator would move to here and it would share the same space as the stovetop. So right now we planned on having the refrigerator which stops right about here and then a drawer. But it trying to decide if it's too narrow coming in and having this back to back. So kind of that door would hit the refrigerator. So we don't know if fixing Making this shallower to where it comes to maybe here would help or if truly have the door completely open in this area completely open. So what we decided to do is we took off the extra fridge space so it used to come to here. We turn it really tight. Now it comes to the door. And this will be the stove, the fridge, and the sink. Um, we also removed the extra framing in the back that took off an inch here, so it, it opens does. it up some more. So here is the kitchen so far. Refrigerator, fake, fake drawer that's gonna tilt out for um, toothbrush and stuff. Cooktop will be right there. This is just gonna be a massive prep area. Two drawers and then two doors and the propane tank will sit in a container in the back of that corner. We're going with a five gallon propane tank. So that's where we are right now. So we just finished the inside of the shower. So now we're going to put the shower door up. And that is right there. First step that I'm going to do is take some acetone and go around the edges and clean them up. Okay, so I kind of take back what I said. It worked good for here. And that's the one work good for these walls. It did not work well for the shower pan itself. Um, I don't know if you can see. Let's try to zoom in. It basically took 
took the outside paint off of the shower pan and scrubbed it up pretty, pretty well. So don't use that to clean your shower pan. See if this fits. So it's be 65. Five. Oh my gosh. It, the, gotta fix that. That's, that's pretty well. This Nautilus door is, it holds on with double sided tape. No screws. So we are working on getting this wall perfectly straight, as straight as possible. It dips out a little bit where it's not a great piece of lumber. So. So we are off to Lowe's because I did not measure twice, cut once. I cut once and measured once and cut this one inch too short. This is for the shower and it doesn't work. So hopefully they have a C-channel aluminum piece like this. It's hopefully it's something standard. Probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> Otherwise I have to contact the company and get another piece. Our van is a bit of a mess right now. But what I'm going to work on right now is finishing this wall up. I cut this in piece, so it's gonna finish it right there. Look really nice. Still can't do that wall, but we should be able to do that wall up this week since the window comes. And then this needs to be nailed back up. And then I'm going to start priming and finishing the frame around the shower. And then the shower will be complete. door of the shower for it to be sanded, primed, and then painted. So I did this style, it kind of matches what I did back here. And this is going to be a little cabinet that we haven't gotten to yet, but there's probably going to be another trim piece right here. Oh. 
don't know if you can see the door. The door is on. That's Colin's little mistake up there. Our shower is looking pretty good. It just has a prime coat on it right now. But one part that's bothering me is this area right here. Because this is our shower pan. And then we have a wall on top of the shower pan. So the shower pan kind of comes out. I can get a little closer so you can see how bad it looks. This is the shower pan. This was a hole that we had to fill. This was a shower wall. This was the frame of under the shower pan. And then this was my finishing piece. So I'm going to, which I think will look a lot better, is take the finishing piece and move it up also. So it will be like double the width and it will cover the shower pan. And I'll show you when I'm done. So this is the before and this is the after. Well, everything's finally painted. This is how I did the bottom to hide all that. Looks pretty good. We just got our fridge in. And if you remember earlier in the video, we built our kitchen cabinet without having the fridge. So we went off the online dimensions. So this fridge is um i don't know how vertigo refrigio anyway um it's for a, a it's it's an italian fridge and it's technically for a semi like a 18 wheeler so they come with a whole bunch of you can buy a whole bunch of kits to make it fit your 18 wheeler but, we got but a freezer but it has a proper freezer and the reason we got it is it was around 500 dollars, and it was a true it was a vertical refrigerator that was a true compressor type so it only draws 40 watts according to the website so it's pretty efficient and then also it it's like two or three hundred dollars cheaper than any of the other vertical refrigerators now it's time to see if it fits looks like it's gonna be really close <laughs> and again we went off the dimensions that they had on the website so hopefully those dimensions are correct. Do you need help? No. That's like a perfect fit. <laughs> There's some room on the top, but the sides fit like perfect. <laughs> so it's going to breathe from the top. And then also we're going to, in the back of here, we're going to have some ventilation for it to breathe as well. But we got about half an inch on this side and a quarter inch on this side, so we can move it around a little, but it looks pretty good. So tune in next week for us making the cushions ourselves and then hopefully finally getting that window installed so we can have some, some natural light come in besides just through the, the vent on the roof. See you all next week.